Right then folks, over there we've got Hinkley Point somewhere, like I said this camera is not the most brilliant of cameras I was just craning you up there You see some of the domes there? They're not, uh, they haven't had their rods put in yet apparently There's, there's B, Station B Station A is still there as well fishing and then you've got this beautiful scene all around me all around me but it's very windy folks and my arms are just starting to get goosey now over there we've got Downsborough Hill Fort which I walk up and through and partially round um, a couple of months ago because don't forget I come out it I come out all year well I don't come out here in the winter because it's not light enough and it's too cold to hang about waiting for trains and buses in the summer right it gets horrible in the heat waiting for a bus especially if you, it, you don't turn up and you've got to wait another hour but it's not as bad as having very few also having very few hours um, you'd only get about three maybe four hours out here to explore um, in the so I don't come out here I did when I had my camper van because it wouldn't matter I could camp right over Holford and go on my walks or, co or, 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 or take the van over to Triscum car park up in the hills it didn't matter when you got your own vehicle but my whole day is really dictated to by time especially when I'm two hours less again today two hours less now the reason I've come out so soon is there's going to be a national rail strike starting tomorrow well the rest of the week really basically it'll be sort of go slow timetables will be in already the reception staff at Western where you can normally go ask for information and get your ticket they've, they've closed up they're not they know there'll be aggro so, so they've actually shut shop they're all going sick apparently good way of getting paid isn't it now what one bloke said to me on the railway station he said the the big companies that run the rail all made a fat profit they had lots of money and they just shared it amongst themselves and they didn't look after the workers so workers didn't get anything they didn't get an increase or nothing so that's what that really annoyed them the most that they were the railway people were boasting about how well they'd done and then they hadn't shared any out any of the profits with the workers which is that's capitalism isn't it they don't they don't they want to save labor I'll tell you another horrible thing really um hundred so years ago say 200 years ago we used to send convicts to Australia even if they stole the bread because they wanted to colonize out there so then they used convicts to send out well they're doing the same now but they're treating asylum seekers who've been fled from war and rape and famine they're treating them like convicts and they're going to send them to a place called Rwanda in Africa where the, the, the taxpayer is actually paying to put people up in big hotels in Rwanda these refugees because, because our country said they don't want them they got to go there so a lot of them have come from Afghanistan who've been terrorized there they now th think well they can't if as soon as they get to Britain they'll be put on a plane and sent to Africa so it's, and it's a deterrent that's what they're saying this will stop I mean already I think 11,000 people have come over in the last couple months on these boats from France to England 11,000 minimum have come over <coughs> illegal immigrants they're coming across 20 mile stretch some have drowned this is the sort of thing that's going on 
course, what's weird, they've just opened up what's called the Elizabeth Line, named after Elizabeth II, special train rail, rail link that have been built, cross link, whatever it's called, you know, cost of loads and loads of money. And uh, so they, they had a ceremony with the Queen opening, opening it and all that. Now they're all going on straight. <laughs> Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute, my arms are getting cold, I over and out. I've just done a, another 10 minute, quarter of an hour narration coming down through the wood after passing a big group of people. Um, none of it, I, I, I didn't press the red button properly. I always get confused when the button's on with the charger. I could kick myself sometimes because I, I can't go over what I just said. Basically, I've taken a couple of pictures of some beautiful big trees, and I'm on my way down to Old Foxton now. Now, ah, that's about it, really. Um, so we passed... Um, a big group of people, like I said, a huge group of people. <sighs> They've been picnicking for a while. They're the sort that seem to stop a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't come down in a minute past me or even very close behind me and then stop again at Holford. Holford's the sort of place groups gather. Um, but anyway, we're going down. Once I get through that gate, uh, the walk-in will be a lot easier from the, for a while because it's going to be on road. And I did mention on the other video that if there's time and if there's a bench available, I will have a, my, my cheese and tomato on it. That's plan A. Um, I'm just passing through really, but um, it's so pretty as well here, isn't it? Just to have a quick look at the old foxen on the way past. Um, there's never a time since I've lost my van, I lose so much time now for doing it, um, doing detailed stuff. Um, but it's better to get out here than not get out here at all. And I've said I'll probably do Ladies Edge today on the way back to Bicknoller Post. That's going to be the circular today and I might, if there's time, go down Bicknoller Coombe today. I'm just going to see, I'm playing it by ear. So I do like to vary my walks. Um, we're just going to be coming out now onto a bit of easier walking. That is a lot easier coming down where I've just come than going up it. And I am glad they've given me some space, that big group of people. Believe me. I am glad of that. It won't be long before they're coming. So I'm just going to get a move on. Now, what, if the plan when I'd done Smith's Coombe last week, I would have emerged on this route coming down round. I would have followed the contours round. Um, but there, isn't, there wasn't time today. I had thought of trying to link up and do some of the contours. But this, that was quite a big area. And once again, I thought, no. You, if you had the two hours, yes. If I had the two hours, I would do it. And there's still a little loop I could still do, but uh, so this is the little road. People use this to get to their cottages and houses that live right out in the sticks here. This is their road. Now normally I usually see deer, but I've been put my foot down a bit. I don't expect the videos are very good and I probably won't share them. They're being saved for posterity though. I had to come out today as well. I wouldn't have come out if it was rain and thunder, which there was on Saturday. Um, I wouldn't have come out. But there's a rail strike starting and I think it'll go on for weeks. It's going to be one of those go slows, escalating with other people joining in type strikes. So I will also to this week with two good, two or three good days yet, I shall also 
go out onto the Mendips on the bus. I've got to while we can because we have such short summers. Now isn't that a lovely scene? There with the foxgloves, look. And the old broken bean there. Look at that. Aren't they gorgeous foxgloves? Belladonna. I'll take a picture over there. The Buddha it? seems to have been removed. That was on inside the wall garden. You can't get in there easily either. Maybe it didn't run by the monks anymore. Or they've moved the Buddha. It was right centred in the middle last time. I can't see it anymore. Some sort of activity going on there. They've got like a drawing here. Meditation space, ward garden. It's like it's like um task list. Yeah. So anyway, here we are. Some people still around. Nice figurine of a was a bloke, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting quite hot again now. Yeah, I don't know if I could get in around the garden now. Might be out around the back. There's a lot of vans in the back though. A lot of vans. They usually have lunch about this time. That's why. Oh, there's somebody. Hello. Is it still run by the Buddhists? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. I'm just passing through. I've been coming here for years, you know, on my walks. Uh-huh. Everyone all right? Uh, no, well, there's a few of them have got COVID, so... Oh, I'll keep away then. Yeah. They're out in the fresh air. Do you good? Yeah. Well, you're doing well. It looks nice. Thank you. I've been, like, been coming here for years and years. I've seen so many changes. They got COVID, some of them. Oh, gets everywhere that bug, doesn't it? Well, it seems to be. I haven't turned up. Do you know what? I've just done another recording without the button, button pressed. I came all the way up here. I just press it again. Show you the house. I just met a nice gentleman. Oh, hello. So I've just been talking to your chap. I was just having a look. I am, I, I've been coming here for years. Okay, yeah. let me just put that. I'm leaving. I've just had a most lovely talk with a young, well, not a young woman, but I don't know what she is, but um, she's the guard, she's a part of the trust here for the, for the old Fox and House. Uh, she, she, she's helping. She's going to be doing, she's designing all the gardens and things like that. They've got huge plans. They're doing the sewage system at the moment. They're going to have a sauna. Um, they've got loads of expert people staying and working here. Um, I'm just hoping for more funding for the roof and, and, and everything like that. So it was really nice to talk to her. Such a, such a lovely person oozing warmth and friendship. She was so lovely. I mean, I just love meeting people like that. The thing is with these sort of people, they're, they're very intelligent people. They think very abstractly and in advance. I do as well, but I can't seem to put anything into action. I, mean, I just go out walking, taking pictures. She's had all the gear on. She's such, such a lovely person. You can feel goodness in people like that. It oozes from them. Oh, that was so good. I was so glad. She told me a lot of what they were going to be doing. They let me have a bit of tile. I think I've already got a whole one actually somewhere. But this is a bit I'll take home. A culvert. What's a culvert again? remember things. A culver. Mm. 
Buddha is still there, by the way. She's, he, it's just covered up with some, some sort of bush. I didn't know they had women there. I'm really, really pleased I've stopped. I met two lovely people and these people, they are good people, you can feel it. And, and they're not like evangelical or anything. They're setting up a community there. I bet you if I wanted to join them, they'd let me, but I'd have to sort of do to them for function, wouldn't I? I'd have to have a function. No, I'm too much of a lone wolf, I'm afraid. That's the problem with me. I'm not a very community orientated person. Um, like I said, these videos are visual diaries and I don't share it all. You know, I don't share it all. I'm worried about the time. I'm not sure. I'd be worried if it's three o'clock, but it'll take me three hours to get back there from here putting on a bit of speed. Um, when I come to the first seat, I'm gonna, which is up here, I'm gonna stop and look at the time and have a little drink. And um, I couldn't do much videoing really, it was cut very short because the girl came out to talk to me, a woman rather, very, very nice woman. I could feel the warmth in her. Uh, oh, it was just nice to communicate with somebody who's sort of partly on my wavelength. They're probably one or two levels up from me though. They are, those sort of people. She said they've got engineers, they've got all sorts of people that come to live and work and do things. Uh, yeah, they are like the new ages, I think, uh, but not new age, if you know what I mean. Right, I'm just going to stop here a minute and check the time and have a drink. Over and out.